Hey everyone, it's Cnor, and um, I'm here with another quick tutorial about Harley Quinn boss fight cycle skips. Um, so this fight in general has 12 cycles, and um, by what I mean by cycle is where Harley Quinn does 10 backflips, and like so once you go by her, she starts running away, and she d runs away doing 10 backflips, and after the 10th backflip, she either gets confused or she jumps away depending on what cycle you're on, like what stage of the fight you're on. Um, and today I want to explain there's three different scenarios in which you can actually skip cycles and um, optimally you can skip up to nine out of 12 cycles in this fight but it's there's what, two of the three scenarios are easy to skip cycles at but the last scenario is hard so it's pretty unrealistic to get all nine but I think in a realistic run you can get about five to six cycle skips per um, attempt at this pretty easily because there's a lot of backups if you do miss couple of the cycle skips. So starting out pretty basic, the fight starts with Harley Quinn jumping down. And by the way, you do want two players connected for this. And generally what I like to do here is have Robin on P1 and Batman on P2 because um, what happens, I'll, I'll show you the exact cycle skip in a second, but what happens is you want to have a character that can punch really fast and Robin's punch animation is a little bit faster than Batman's. And you also want to chase Harley Quinn with P2 if possible, because generally you want to do the jumps on P1, and P1 is generally going to be you're you're more comfortable with movement with P1 in general. So um, definitely, if you can chase with P2. So even though I'm like farther away from P2 at the beginning of the fight here, I kind of want to go over and chase Harley with P2, and then I'll show you guys in a second the setup for the first type of cycle skip. And the first type of cycle skip is Harley Quinn. When you're when she's in the confusion state, and this is one of the three, well, one of the two easier um, versions of the cycle skip. In this one, right, the very beginning of the fight skips one cycle of ten backflips. So I'll go chase her down with P2 here, and what you want to do is have just P1 in the middle, and then depending on where Harley Quinn stops for confusion, that's how you line up P1. So she stops right here. So right here, actually where your P1 is on this wheel, so you can use that little. Uh, spike in the middle as a reference wherever p1 is uh, in in uh in comparison to that little pin in the middle is where harley quinn the opposite side of where harley quinn's gonna jump so you see how harley quinn's on the left side so she's not gonna jump on the left because batman's over there so she has two options she's either gonna go to the top right or the bottom right see how p1's positioned to the top left of the pinwheel so if i punch harley quinn she's gonna jump to the bottom right so i need to prepare once i punch her and she starts jumping over there during the cutscene, I need to do a double jump as close to Harley Quinn as possible with P1. So you gotta angle P1 towards that bottom right, and then as soon as you punch her with Batman, just double jump down to the bottom left. So here, I'll demonstrate. So angle P1, and as soon as you punch her, jump to the bottom left. And you have a couple frames right there. You have a couple frames to get a punch off, and generally if you're close enough, you'll be able to get that punch off almost every time. You just need to make sure you're close enough and um, actually so that skipped 10 backflips so that's one cycle skip. The thing is that um, later in the fight she does more jumps meaning you can skip more cycles so you can immediately do another two cycles because the second phase of the fight she does she goes around once 10 backflips jumps across and then she does 10 more backflips and you punch her. So if you do a cycle skip right this right after killing these jack-in-the-boxes you can skip two cycles just like that. And I'll demonstrate because this is the second type of cycle skip. It's where she's jumping down from the top and you can predict where she's gonna jump based on your character location once again. So I'm gonna position it so she goes to the bottom right again. So you see how I'm on the top left of the pinwheel again in the middle? I believe the pinwheel is like a little bit of a hip, little bit of a hip box so you have to make sure you jump over it. Um, so I'm gonna battering the three um, Jack in the boxes with Batman, and then do a double jump to the bottom right where Harley Quinn should be positioned. And then you, if I get close enough and punch fast enough, I'll be able to skip two cycles. So here I'll batarang these guys. And oh, see, okay, that's actually a good example. Um, so we predicted she was going to go to the bottom right, but the thing was I jumped too early with Robin. If you jump too early, and say like my hitbox went over that pinwheel, then the Harley AI thinks, oh crap. I can't go over there. You got to, you have I have my player to, in the bottom right quadrant of this fight. I need to go somewhere else, which either means the top right or the bottom left. In this case, she chose the bottom left. But this is a good example of if you mess up, 
if you jump too early, if you don't get the punch off in time, there's an easy backup. So I missed two cycle skips right there, or skipping two cycles there. But the thing is, I can get two cycle skips on the next, um, on, by when she's confused at, for after the two, after the jump and then the punch here. So, but also to bring up when you miss it like this and she starts going around again after a jump, this brings up the third type of cycle skip is when she's doing 10 backflips and right after she does the 10 backflips, she's on a jump cycle where she will jump to the opposite side. It's, this is the very hard one because you kind of have to position P1 in the middle around the pinwheel. In, like You have to uh, actively position him because after the 10th jump, Harley Quinn is going to jump somewhere around this air, uh, one of the four quadrants, one of the four corners. He's going to jump there, and you have to actively move P1 and be ready with P1. This one is pretty unrealistic to get, but this is if you get this type of cycle skip multiple times in the fight you can pass that's what i'm saying like you can possibly skip nine out of 12 but pretty unrealistic so so if i want to try oopsies i dropped out um if i want to try and do this i can actively try and move p1 but see it's really hard to predict where the next jump is going to be especially when it's um actively moving around so okay now we can do another see this is the backup so if i miss the jack in the box two cycle skip but i can get another two cycle skip by skipping the third heart double cycle so you see how Harley Quinn's positioned on the bottom here. So as long as we position Robin on the bottom half of the pinwheel, she'll either go to the top left or the top right. So I can I can choose whatever side I want her to, fo to force her. So she's confused there. I want to position Robin. I'm positioning him in the bottom right of the pinwheel so she can go to the top left when I punch her with Batman. So I just got to be prepared to jump to the top left. You can't make sure you don't jump too early. Right next to her, boom, two cycles skip just like that. And... That was the backup. That's almost backing up, missing the first two cycle skips. So you're not really losing that much time. The only time you're losing is the setup it took to do the first two, to, to the jack in the box cycle skips. Like you're only losing a couple seconds to setting that up and you're still skipping two cycles, which each cycle is about five seconds. So that's 10 seconds to save for free. And it, it gets better because these goon waves, just like the jack in the box waves, you can set up a cycle skip again. The problem with the goon waves though is that it's hard to predict whether the goon's actually going to die from a punch from your character or not, or a battering. Or... So, I'll pause it right here. The goon is at the bottom here, so like, okay, I want Harley Quinn to go to the bottom right. Even though we know she's going to go to the bottom right, it's hard to predict that because you don't know when the punch on the goon is actually going to kill the goon. I think a good suggestion is probably maybe battering every single goon in the fight once or twice, and usually one goon survives two batterings, usually. And then you know he's going to die after one more hit. I feel like that might be a good way of going about it. But obviously you don't want to set it up too long. Because once again, even if you miss this goon, uh, the cycle skip after the goon waves, you can back it up by doing when she's confused after for a second to last heart and skip the last heart instead. So this, if I get this cycle skip here, it skips three cycles because she jumps twice and she does 10 backflips twice, jumps twice, and then does 10 backflips, then you punch her. So these last two hearts, you can skip three cycles if you get an early punch. And even if you miss the one for the goo wave, you can have her jump twice and then position it when she's the confusion state and then try to go for the cycle skip when she's in the confusion state, which is very easy. That's probably the easiest way of doing it. And that skips a whopping three cycles. So right now I skipped one cycle at the beginning. I skipped two cycles towards the middle of the fight. And I could skip three more at the end, which would be a six cycle skip fight. So here, I'm going to try to get the goon cycle skip here. See, I'm a little too far away from Harley there. Oh, okay, so apparently I was it was fast enough still. So right there, after the goon wave, I skipped three cycles. And then if you can do that, if you get the goon wave cycle skip, you can try the active uh, st style of getting the cycle skip where you have to kind of predict where she's going mid-10 jumps and kind of position P1 on the pinwheel appropriately. You can go for that. It's It's pretty hard to pull off. But it, it, the fight's going to go to the end normal here. So as, as long as you uh, just give it a shot to try to get the uh, active cycle skips, you maybe could skip one or two cycles at the end or just finish the boss fight off normally. So technically, in this scenario, she's going to do 10 more backflips. I can still get a 8 cycle skip fight, potentially. It would be hard to do because you have to chase her around and then actively predict where she's going. So I'm going to guess bottom left or bottom right. No, she went a little bit longer. I can try to guess it again to skip one extra cycle. Ooh, and I was close, but I think I'm a little too far away. Oh, and I did get it. Okay. 
So there we go. That was a seven cycle skip fight. And that's my little tutorial on it. I hope this helps. If you have any more questions, please ask me because I just tried to explain this in one take and I might have missed something. But yes, uh, if you have any questions, please ask and thank you for watching.